Our group members are Jenny Jones, Robbie Logan, and Julian Romero. For our presentation, we will explain Lab 2 SSI circuits. First, we will use the truth table to obtain an SOP Boolean equation, and then use the theorems to fully reduce the equation. But we will also use a Carnot map to validate our reduced equation and prevent mistakes. Our thesis is this Boolean equation can be represented using AND, OR, and NOT gates, and also NAND gates, as any Boolean equation can be implemented as a NAND gate only circuit. First, we need to derive the equation from the truth table. In order to do this, we must first locate the min terms and add the input highs and lows for each, and then or the added min terms together to create a sum of products equation. While complete, the equation will do us far more good reduced. To begin the reduction process, we apply the indempotence law by duplicating a naught b naught c naught d naught and a b naught c naught d naught in order to successfully apply the simplification theorems. We applied the simplification theorem xy plus xy naught equals x to midterm pairs with only one input difference. We reapplied the same simplification theorem two more times in order to reach a fully reduced equation. We can fill in the k-map using the true values from the truth table that were given. In order to get the minimized form of the equation from this k-map, we must loop together the true values into the greatest loops possible to form prime indicants. The first loop that we can create happens at the corners of the k-map. Comparing the values across the top of the k-map, we find that b0 doesn't change. Checking the values down the left side of the k-map, we find that d0 doesn't change. So the first term of our minimized equation is b0 and d0. The second group can be made by looping together all of the values contained in the first two rows. Across the top, both a and b change, so we can eliminate both of them. Down the side, we find that only C0 doesn't change, so we know that C0 will be in this form term of the equation. The second and last term of the equation for F is C0. Because we have only used prime indicants, we know that the most minimized form of the equation is F equals B0 and D0, or C0. Now we will demonstrate how to create a circuit of the given truth table with AND gates, OR gates, and NOT gates, which are also known as inverters, only since these group of gates are functionally complete. After identifying the reduced Boolean equation, we can see that input A has no effect on output X. Revisiting the truth table, we can see that the outputs are identical whether input A is 1 or 0. Because the A input has no effect, it will not require a connection in our integrated circuit. In Logisim, we represent this function with three sets of NOT gates or inverters, one AND gate and one OR gate. B naught and D naught feed, in, feed into an AND gate represented by two sets of inverters and one AND gate. C naught feeds an OR gate along with the outputs of B0, D0, AND gate. In part 5 of Lab 2, we implemented the equation B0, D0, OR C0 using AND 7408, OR 7432, and NOT 7404 integrated circuits. These are representations of actual chips used in a digital system. In order to use these integrated circuits, we connected the pins to the gates inside the ICs, just as we would separated gates. The difference being the gate types were consolidated in one space and not readily visible. We also had to attach a power input pin to pin 14 of each IC 
and a ground to pin 7 of each IC to represent the external electrical circuit supplying these chips with energy. The gates were accessible via input pins on the ICs. The resulting signal exited the chip via an output pin because B0, D0, or C0 were all low values, we had to first run them through the NOT7404 chip to invert the signal. As you can see, each signal connected to an actual inverter inside the chip and then ran back out via an output pin. We then connected B and D to an AND gate inside the AND7408 chip. We ran the output line from the 7408 chip as well as the C signal to the OR7432 chip in order to follow the equation B0, D0, or C0. The output line from the 7432 chip ran to the end pin. Any circuit built with NOT or NAND gates can be built with strictly NAND gates. A NOT gate is represented by a NAND gate with a single input feeding it twice the results will be exactly the same as a NOT gate. An OR gate is represented by two NAND gates used as NOT gates that feed an additional NAND gate. Testing each input will give similar results to an OR gate. And an AND gate is represented by a NAND gate fed by two inputs that feeds another NAND gate used as a NOT gate. This circuit also returns outputs, an AND gate would. Utilizing the NAND gate conversions, we can change our AND or NOT gate circuit to a NAND gate circuit. These three NOT gates can be converted to three NAND NOT gates. The AND gate can be converted into the NAND AND gate. And the OR gate can be converted into the NAND OR gate. Upon further evaluation, we noticed that there are two instances of back-to-back -back NOT gates in their NAND format that we may eliminate. These were created from the AND and OR gate conversion. These two NOT gates change the value and then immediately restore the same value, thus can be eliminated. To test our reduced NAND gate circuit, we can use Logisim to validate our interpretation of the Boolean expression. As discussed before, we can test the circuit using the first set of results since A does not influence the output. In Logisim, we can change the value of each input that corresponds to each of the data sets found in a truth table. Doing so, we discover this NAND gate only circuit produces the exact results of our AND or NOT gate only circuit. Here we can see the implementation of the NAND only circuit using just one of the 7400 IC chips. As you can see, the schematic is much easier to follow than the other schematics that we use during this lab. This is just one of the benefits of using a NAND only circuit. We can then compare the different forms of our circuit to better understand what components are necessary to build a circuit. Using a non-minimized equation taken directly from a truth table to create a circuit uses many components and gates. This circuit would be expensive to make and use more power than it should. Using AND, OR, and NOT gates based on a minimized equation, the number of components is greatly reduced, but this can still be made into a more simple circuit. By converting the AND, OR, and NOT gates into only NAND gates, the circuit becomes very simple, utilizing only one IC. This is a very desirable form of circuit and should give us the most inexpensive power-saving circuit of all. In conclusion, we learn that we are able to obtain Boolean equations from truth tables through the use of some of the products and reduce them with laws and theorems a Boolean al algebra. It is very beneficial to have a fully reduced Boolean equation before constructing a circuit as it will lead to smaller and cost-effective circuits. We can also validate our reduced equations with CapeMap and Logisim grading tools. 
We also learned that NAND gates can result in less chips versus AND or NOT gate chips. While any circuit can be created with AND or NOT gates, NAND gate only circuits may result in a reduction of required gates as well as space and count.